It's Thursday, August 31st. Uh, we're getting ready to head for our Kenya trip. I just took my first anti-malaria pill. Uh, we're taking Cookie to drop her at her pet resort, Rover Oaks, in about 30 minutes. And then after that, we'll get everything else packed up and then we'll be off to the airport to head to New York. All right, I just got seated on the plane. Somehow you she got very separated from me in the boarding queue, so she's uh, just about to pop around the corner. We made it to New York, we're at the airport uh, getting ready to board our Kenya Airlines flight and of course Yushi is getting her favorite food. So I think we've got about two hours until we leave and then it's the 14 hour flight so we both just bought these neck pillows to make it a little more comfortable for the, for the full ride. Walking down the gangway now, getting on the plane. 14 hour flight to Kenya. Here we go. All right, we made it through customs. Uh, we're walking out of the airport now. It's a long 14 hour flight, plus all the waiting. Feels good to be out here. I'll show you the view a little bit, what it looks like also, around the airport. The weather is really nice. It's much, much cooler than Texas. Yeah, very nice. So let's take a look around. All right, we've made it to the hotel. It's actually quite nice. Uh, and apparently for this trip, we are Elliot with one T uh, and Yushi Johnston. <laughs> and it's actually quite nice out, uh, out the window. It's very almost tropical looking little restaurant down there, pool and stuff. So I think we'll get settled, wait for our bags to arrive in the room and then we'll go explore a little bit. We are going to see the giraffe at the Giraffe Center in Nairobi, Kenya. You go down the ring gang, eh? Hmm? You go down the ring gang, eh? Oh, you both. Oh. All right, it's the morning. We're starting off the safari today. It's a two hour drive to our first stop and then another two hours until our camp. But we're in the van, it's just the three of us, and we're on the way. Conservatory or something? No. What is it? Uh, Alright, we arrived there. We're waiting for the last bus to arrive. We just checked in and there was a rhino earlier. I don't see it now, do you? No, I wanted to. Somewhere out here. There was a rhino, but I'm sure we'll see plenty more later. We're off to check in in our tent for the first night's day, and then we have a safari in two hours after we eat lunch. All right, we just got checked in in our tent. This is quite a nice tent, given the flooring in the bathroom is tile, and there's a physical toilet. Um, it's pretty good, though. We don't see anything out here right now, if I adjust the exposure. 
but we have a safari soon in a couple hours after we eat lunch. We've already seen a couple cool looking birds. We saw a, a rhino when we were checking in that I didn't get on video, but hopefully we'll see some good stuff on the uh, actual safari in a little bit. I uh, just put my phone down, looked up, and there's two Pumbaa guys walking by right here. So I'd say this is our first actual sighting of uh, creatures on the safari. This is post-lunch at the hotel we're at. All these birds over here. And all the buffaloes over there. They were all over here at the pond at one point. We're walking back from the lunch right now, walking up toward our tent, and we have a visitor. This is our tent on the right, and he was just sitting right there. And then if you look out, the little two, uh, two Pumbas are back out there right now. And all the buffalo a little bit over this way right here. All right, our safari cars are showing up. We're about to load in. The roof goes up like on this one here, like that. We'll be going soon. Just came across a whole bunch of zebra right here in the middle of the screen and then over on the right. There's a bunch more back there. started raining so all the baboons went inside so we got back to the car and we're continuing our drive. We just finished petting the blind rhino and we're walking back to the car and right in front of us three giraffes and a bunch of zebras. back from the safari, getting dinner, and look at all of these desserts. <sighs> right, we're starting day two. Um, we're walking to get breakfast right now, and then we drive, I think, five hours to Lake Elementato, or something like that. Uh, it's really cold here in the morning. She was freezing, we're both wearing our long sleeve shirts, but the sunrise was nice. All the animals were still out there. So, off to breakfast we go. He is 
covered like this, any falling object fall at the north, spin clockwise. Mm. Any falling object fall at the south, spin and clockwise. But along the equator to a map, no motion. So we start with north, we go south, we end up here. Are you okay? Yes. Yep. You will be my assistant professor. Okay. Thank you very much. Tell me a little. My falling object is my water. Yeah. yeah. And you see the water here drain taking motion. Yeah. Clockwise. But for us to see well, assistant professor. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yay. Thank you. It's like the clock. Mm -hmm. And the more I proceed from here to the north, I do the same, it will be like this, but more and more faster. Flashing of washroom north used to turn the same. The tornadoes, fashion fruit, flower, coiling on other plant north used to coil turning clockwise motion. You come from US, light, Japan, yes? Mm -hmm. You do the same in both country, far north. It will be like this, but more faster. When you're coming down, I hit another hole. Are you okay again? Yeah. I do the same, but this time, so. And you see the water doing the same, but for us to see well, yeah, you know. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> you got a new job here in I Kenya? <laughs> and you see, also the equator affect human beings, mostly the men. Why the men? Because we normally cut the hair. Like the men born at the south, you see the hair at the center of the head? Mm -hmm. used to grow tiny and huh. The men born at the south, the hair used to grow tiny and clockwise. Uh, and clockwise, sorry. You see my hair? Yeah. It's a confused one. Okay. Confused, confused. Yeah. Because I was Close. running along the... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Huh. So as it's done. Ready? Thank you very much. Yeah. No motion at all. Yeah. Nothing. You know this because magnetic of north, magnetic of south, along here is equal. That's why I don't have light on it. Thank you very much. Right, we just arrived at Lake Elementata, walking up to our new tent. Check out this view real quick. We just got to our next tent for I think it's tonight and tomorrow night. I dropped my stuff over here real quick. This, I don't want to unwrap it now, but earlier today at the first stop of the day, I got a couple pieces of artwork made from banana fiber that are pretty cool. Uh, so I'm not sure if anything's over there. Bathroom here, bedroom here, and I haven't even walked over here yet, but looks like we have a little patio and a trail kind of leading out toward the beach down there. So we have a safari in a couple hours, so we'll just kind of hang out here until then. Um, but it's a cool spot. You can't really see the water out there too well, but huge lake out behind all the trees right there. We're back from the little mini safari we did earlier. We were supposed to go up to some big hill and see a cool view, but it ended up raining quite a bit that made the area non-accessible. So we ended up driving along the lake here, seeing a bunch of flamingos and stuff. Um, we just got back and took a shower and you have to take a look and see uh, what's happening in here. So, as you can see on the window here, there's one, 
two, three, four, five geckos hanging out on the window here. And I was able to watch, there's flies, like you can see up right there right now, there's a little fly. Uh, you could watch them crawl around and chase the flies. And so now we're just gonna hang out here for the rest of the night. I think tomorrow morning we leave for a safari at 7.30 or so. Um, so excited for that. We forgot to bring the nice camera today because we didn't know what was gonna happen with the hills view thing getting turned into a mini safari. So we missed some cool photo opportunities. So we'll bring it everywhere we go from here on out. But Oh, and this is the uh, shirt I got the other day. Hakuna Matata. And it shows all the kind of key animals down here. So pretty cool. We'll see you tomorrow. Right. Um, <laughs> actually, they must drag it into the bushes. Hey, we're going to Kakuro Park for our next safari. Ready? Yes. Let's do it. Dusty. So she has this on to block the dust. I will suffer. Okay, stay tuned. took a bathroom break after seeing some giraffes and stuff. We're about to carry on here soon. All right, we've come across our first fly in here. It looks like it's a mama and two cubs laying in front of her here. The zebra right here at our car. There's a bunch more over here. And then there's also a giraffe right up there by that tree. He's still holding him. I see. Oh, oh, scratch head. Oh, the other one. No, he's still holding him on the ground. Scratch head. Oh, look at this. Who <laughs> just fell? So funny. That one's getting ready to jump off the tree. It's like watching kids yeah. play. <laughs> look at <laughs> Did you catch that? No, I wasn't. Uh, Two of them are gonna fight for this branch now. He's jumping. Oh, oh. <laughs> look a bat. Look at they bounce after they hit. Yeah. I like the lion. Mama lion was two babies, and I also like watching the monkeys. Monkeys were cool.
So today we started the day with a 7.30 a.m. safari through Lake Nakuru National Park. We saw our first lion. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was a mom sleeping with two cubs. Uh, they didn't move much and we were there for a while, but we saw a bunch of giraffes, uh, zebras, kind of everything we've seen so far, but more of. Uh, we're back at the place now and it's raining in our little tent here. Uh, we're just kind of hanging out, going through the photos we got so far. Leaving Lake Elephantasia off to Masai Mara. Five hour drive. Still on our way to Masamara, Masai Mara. Um, made our next pit stop at one of these gift shops, so we'll take a look around and see if there's anything we like. There's a lot of really cool stuff here that's shockingly cheap, but unfortunately we won't have enough space for me to take this whole giraffe home. But this thing would be pretty cool. We just got checked in at the Maasai Mara tent campsite thing we're at, and uh, lunch was good. This is the view from our tent. Goes way back there, that's where we'll be doing all of our safaris at. Saw tons of things on the way in, including our first elephants, and just thousands and thousands of uh, wildebeest, so looking forward to seeing what all is to come. There's a whole family of lions out here. Are there cubs? I think so. In front of the male. Like to our right of the male. And then there's one more right there.
Dark. It's 6 15 a.m. We got up at 5 to go on our hot air balloon ride. The pilot's getting everything ready. We got our safety briefing. We'll be heading out soon. Fuel completely out of fuel. You need to come and get me. You should exit. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Just, uh, just jump out. Hot air balloon ride is over, and now we're grabbing breakfast out in the open. The four horns of four cookies. Yeah. Both male and female juveniles. They're young. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're in trouble. Then you're in trouble. Yeah. Okay. We just got back from the game drive here at the pool and uh, unfortunately these chairs are occupied right now. 
All right, so at this point, we're through most of the trip. Tomorrow's our last real full day here, um, and then we fly out the following day. What's been your highlight so far? There are too many. Pick one. Oh, I need Okay. Well, she noodles. Mine was probably the elephant herd today. Um, we can put a video of it right here, but we saw, I think, 15 to 20 elephants all going together, some babies, some adults kind of walking right in front of us. We got a lot of good photos on the, the big camera. I think I got some videos on my phone here, but that was mine. Have you made up your mind? I think mine is yet to happen. We were waiting for, what are those called? The crossing. The crossing the river with crocodiles and hippos in the river. So like that might happen later today or tomorrow, we'll see. But if that happens, that will be the absolute highlight of the trip. It's just like what you see like, in the documentaries on National Geographic or like Animal World type channel. Yep, and we almost saw it earlier, but they ended up aborting their crossing. So we're back at the hotel now here at the pool. Um, and then I think in an hour or so, we head back on our next drive where we're hoping to see it. But one of the highlights of this hotel is, I hope I don't get attacked here, but I don't know what these are called, but take a look. We're just here by the pool. There's, what, eight of those things? Maybe even more. All just sitting in this chair right here. And the little baby just jumped on. Look at that. It's me and my team. So we're just hanging out here um, for another hour or so. And it's been an awesome trip so far, but more to come still. That's our new friend, Jeremy. Jeremy, do you want to try petting him? Um, I'm okay. Hello, Jeremy. Having a good time here. All of these wildebeest just made the cross from Tanzania into Kenya, which this marker right here designates the, the border. KE on this side, you can't really see it, but TZ on the other side. We're all running over thousands of them. There's cheetahs up here, so all these cars are going to try to find the cheetah. Right, we caught the cheetahs up here and they're eating the gazelle. Probably saw three of them. I think they have no cheetahs. No Yeah. 
There's a cut on his back. Yeah. All right, we just arrived at our breakfast with the hippos waiting for the other buses to show up, but you can see there's a couple down here already swimming around, snorting and stuff. So that's how we start the fire.
Day recap. Uh, today we visited the Maasai village and visited their tribe. Um, they did some dancing and stuff, which was fun. We had the hippo breakfast this morning, which was good. And then we had another game drag where we saw a bunch of animals and another herd of maybe 20 or so elephants. Um, we have about 30 minutes till our next drive, and I think it will be our last one because we head out tomorrow. Kind of head out. We head to the local airport to fly back to Nairobi. Anything you want to see on our last game drive that we haven't yet seen? Leopards and animals crossing the river and get eaten alive by crocs and getting attacked by hippos. Yeah, the big crossing. We almost saw it yesterday but they ended up retreating back so I don't know if we're going to try it again today because there was no one really lined up right there earlier but that would definitely be a highlight to see so yeah. who knows we'll see what we see. Stay tuned. our last morning at Maasai Mara. Uh, we just had breakfast, still getting all packed up in our room here. And once we're done here, we'll head to the little private plane to take us back to Nairobi.
made it. Right, we landed back in New York. I forgot to vlog us walking out the plane, so we're here on the monorail heading to our Howard Beach stop. Um, usually right here, pretty empty train. Uh, and then we're gonna find somewhere to eat brunch. It's kind of early in the morning and we have a long wait, so we're gonna take this train, get on the other train, find brunch somewhere, and then get on the other train that goes to the other airport. So it's gonna be another long stay, but we're making the most of it. All right, we found a good place to eat breakfast. Phone eats first, and after this, we're gonna head to the airport. Back in the subway, off to LaGuardia we go. We're at the bus stop waiting for our shuttle back to the airport. Look at this rain behind us. Great timing, it wasn't raining earlier. Huge storm in New York, so our flight has been delayed by what, two hours at this point? But it seems to keep getting pushed back. So we'll see if we make it home tonight or not, but we're both pretty tired and eager to get out of here. Looks like we need to steal the Declaration of Independence while we're here. Right, I finally made it to Houston. It's been the craziest 48, 60, however many hours it's been. Um, I got on standby on an earlier flight. Yushi is still on her flight, headed back now. They had to check my duffel bag because I was the last person on the plane. So I'm hoping all the souvenirs from Kenya didn't get broken on the flight, but we'll see. Uh, I should be. Um, Vegas plane soon, and then I pick up the car, and then I pick up Cookie, and then usually just gonna Uber home because I don't want to wait anymore. I'm so tired after the last three days, so we're almost home finally. I finally made it home, and I have never been so happy to get home. I picked this thing up on my way. Where is he? Right there. Uh, it took me over an hour to get home. Yushi just landed at the airport and is gonna take a lift here to join me, but. That was the longest journey I've ever had to get home from somewhere, and it just feels good to be here, even though we're leaving to move back to Washington in, uh, what, four days now? So that's coming up soon, but with that, the Africa trip was probably the best vacation I've ever had has now come to an end.